everybody signed up tonight. My man Sherwood's going to be videoing this, and it might go up on YouTube. If you don't want to be on it, just tell me, and I'll be like, sober, can we not take this part? Let me keep you off of it. Ain't no forms, nothing for consent or nothing. This is just verbal. Me saying it out front, if you don't want to be on it, just say so. Hey, James, can we cut that music <coughs> off, man? I guess I'm going to go ahead and get started. I ain't really got much to say as a preamble. For those of y'all that are new to this, a lot of times I talk a little bit beforehand, talk about this and that. I ain't really feeling it tonight, I'll be honest. Southern Gothic Futurism is my philosophical brand of life. Southern Gothic Futurism, Haiku Slam is what you are at. Reason I ain't feeling it, I don't know. Ain't a whole lot of people I know feeling it right now. Everything kind of feels like it's weird, but I've been trying to focus on the fact that like it's a change. It's a transition. I got another phase I'm about to step into. We got another phase we all about to step into. And that feels weird and sketchy because even if you don't like the life you got, you're familiar with it. So you just settle in. You're like, well, oh, this sucks. I hate this routine, but I'm going to lie down in this rut and enjoy the day anyways. So that can be intimidating, but I'm trying to be excited about it. You know, I'm trying to have a good mentality that like I'm stepping into the next phase of my life and what do I want that to look like? How do I want to be in this world as it is adjusting and changing? What kind of effect do I want to have on everything? Not sinking into the turtle shell of depression, which is what happens when we feel that a lot of times where we're like, we don't want to interact with nobody and we just sink into our own little corner to survive the days. Lonely and scared. <laughs> Not really scared, but just, I don't know, man. Something's missing a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to think about what I can do. And part of what I'm doing is coming out to this. I wanted to cancel both of these haiku slams this week because I absolutely am not feeling it. I am not feeling things, man. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it because a lot of times when I do them, I feel good. And Tuesday night in Charlottesville, it was a beautiful event, man. It felt so good. People were sharing shit. There's so many young poets that are starting to write that I've known for years that are just amazing, and it just did me good. And I'm thankful to see all y'all tonight. I know many of y'all. Some of y'all I don't know, but I'm thankful for each and every one of y'all for being here. So I'm going to explain how this works. Oh, I didn't introduce myself. I am Dirt God Raven Mac, a.k.a. 1000 Feathers, a.k.a. Nasruddin Shiflet, a.k.a. Shakespeare Greenheart, a.k.a. That dude with the crows, a.k.a. MWS member number 19. That's who I am. But if you look up Dirt Guy Raven Mac on various social medias or along the train tracks or you yell it in the sky where the crows are, you'll find me there. I got two flags up here because when I call two names up, two people are going to read a haiku. Orange side's going to go first. Purple side's going to go second. They each just going to read a haiku. The only rules we put on haiku here is 17 syllables or less. You can have it be natural. You can have it not. You can have it have a flow. You can do whatever. You can break it on the syllable lines like we get taught when we was in second grade. Or you can just say, nah, fuck that. I ain't even doing that. I'm writing eight syllables in one line. 17 syllables or less, all I care about. Orange goes, purple goes. Judges, you will hold up a flag for whichever one you choose. There is no right or wrong way to decide. Maybe you like the flow of one better than the other. Maybe the delivery was more forceful on one. Maybe you zoned out and wasn't paying attention and you just looked up at the last second and felt like you better put up your purple flag. Whatever you use, that's fine. There's three judges, so two out of three flags wins the round. It's not on any one of y'all. So don't get all nervous. Don't have no anxiety. I don't know how, I mean, I got a lot of anxieties. So I don't know if I sometimes give flags to people that got horrible anxiety, like, damn, why you give me flags? This sucks. But I will tell you the one mistake you can make as a judge is if you wait too long and both of the other judges hold up different color flags and then you're the tiebreaker and then the whole group just looks at you and waits to see how you break the tie. So that's the only mistake you can make. It. And ultimately, if that's the worst mistake you can make, that's not that bad, is it? So normally we have a haiku slam, a battle royal, and a bottle title match. Amy Robeson, our purple bottle champion, could not be here tonight because she is working for a co-worker who had a birthday. Because even though she's an amazing photographer and a wonderful writer, she's also a hustling ass waitress still trying to survive capitalism and pay her bills every month. So she couldn't take a night off to come up here, and I respect that. You know what I'm saying? I absolutely respect that. So we ain't having no bottle match. 
But I still got my hundred dollars for competitors. Now, being I don't have a main event haiku match, that's usually twenty five dollars per person. What we doing tonight? We gonna have twenty five dollars for whoever wins the battle royal. Twenty five for whoever finishes runner up in the main slam, and fifty for whoever wins it. Now I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm on this list too. My broke ass trying to win some money tonight. So we are sponsored by Joy Menagerie, a Charlottesville-based nonprofit that supports these things because we're trying to support creative acts and community care. I'm trying to pocket some money tonight, so if y'all coming up here, you got to come hard. <laughs> Telephone. All right, so how many you think you got tonight, Kathy? Because I'm going to try to pace these rounds. Normally, I do a normal round, like best of five every round, but we're going to do chaos style tonight. I mean, I, I have an abundance of You got like 20, 10, 20? At least 20. Okay, good. That's what I needed to know. But what we will do... Yeah, no, you don't. We will start with a best of nine. And I'm going to call up on the orange side, Dolly Joseph, my partner. And I'm going to call up on the purple side, Raven Mac, myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm coming. You ready for this? Yeah, I am. We're going best of nine, first one to win five. So we got six people in the tournament. Whoever wins moves on to the next round, and you just keep going until there's two left and one person wins. They ain't all going to be best of nine, so don't worry if you ain't got for like ten. I'm going to adjust the scale, you know. We did this the other night, and I liked it because we could go long or short. Mm -hmm. Somebody who only had six haiku when they showed up and then wrote more on the spot and actually ended up winning it. All right, orange goes first because it's almost hunting season. <laughs> Practicing creating art, not for applause, but for the expression of joy. Yesterday's downpours turned into deep puddles full of chirping frogs. That's one for that. No, that's one for me. I didn't say you. I, I'm used to purple on the right. My bad. All right, you down one nothing. Mm -hmm. One to five. Mm -hmm. Door-to-door -door salesman energy, but for hobby. What do you know about geese? <laughs> Mosquitoes settling on my scarred knuckle, which once too loved to taste blood. Two to nothing. Why do we feel so exhausted? Anxiety never turns off. Beautiful Loser by Bob Seger blasts as I air fry chicken thighs. <laughs> Dolly took that one two to one. I get to go first. Because you won that round. Right? Yeah, okay. Small town Italian restaurant bustling with high on the hog rednecks. <laughs> Excess eggs from likely Trumper to black folks community pipeline. Judges. I took that one three to one. Going to five. Y'all see how this works now? By when, oh, I didn't tell y'all. If you feel anything, you can make noise. You ain't got to be quiet. This ain't like no respectful poetry like thing. You <laughs> got to be like, if you want to make noise, go ahead and make noise. And if you don't want to make noise, don't make noise. All the people who begat me are dead. I am the head of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Trying my best to not get mayonnaise on my black velour hoodie. <laughs> oh, shit. It's going to be my hoodie. <laughs> Once I get mayonnaise on it, Dolly took that one. I'm up three to two, but Dolly won that one. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, this is good. What had happened was a tragic beginning spun to comedy gold. <laughs> All of my family is chosen. Blood don't make you mine, not anymore. Mm. I just, oh, and I took that one four to two. Being blessed by the passing cat. <coughs> Going to five, and you're down four to two, so. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, staying unemployed really hampers my goose and daffodil budgets. Cat taking up Sphinx position upon my chest, purring with eyes closed. 
Dolly's fighting back four to three. I get to go first. Soaking in bathtub until the water turns cold on a Sunday night. Emotional trust falls of telling each other how we really feel. Four to four. Whoever wins this one will go deeper into the night and will also get to talk shit the whole ride home. <laughs> <laughs> A red bud sapling in old jelly jar stretching for kitchen window. Following convention even when it doesn't serve us or our kids. Judges. And Dolly took Ooh. it. Huh? <clears throat> Jason McDaniel. Woo! And on the purple side, after many months of me badgering her to come back to the Haiku Slam stage, I am happy, just tickled to death to say, coming up to the stage, Angie, not at work. <laughs> now the reason she thought Angie not at work is because in my zines, which I had back there, I used to have a zine, and everybody gets a name in my zines. And I worked with Angie, and Angie was Angie at work. But then we both got laid off because of that shitty redneck dude. That's right. So we both got laid <laughs> off, and she became Angie not at work. So she's still <laughs> Angie not at work, even though we both have had many jobs since then. All right, Jason, you get to go first. Would it be a good Halloween costume if I'm only dead inside? <laughs> Angie. Stained finger pit, finger fingertips. Poets weave words into dreams. The soul's tapestry. Judges. And that's one up for Jason. Angie, you get to go first. Witches and moons glow. Cauldrons magic. Potions flow. Tomorrow, day job. <laughs> Jason. Manifesting cash is not as easy as it looks in all these TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> Angie took that one one to one. TikTok's tripping on that, man. <laughs> Jason, you get to go first. One to one. Going to three. All right. This is one for my wife. She lives in my blood, vital to my survival. She's the air I breathe. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Autumn's fragrant breeze, pumpkin spice and everything. Please, give it a rest. <laughs> Judges. And that's going to go to Jason, two to one. All right, Angie, two to one. You get to go first. Silent battlefield, whisper of a world in arms, war's scars never heal. <coughs> Jason. It's time for a raise. I'm good at what I do, but I am not cheap. Judges. And she took that one two to two. Whoever wins this one will move on. Jason, you get to go first. Fun fact about me, anything can make me cry. Just a sappy old man. Angie. On branches they call, black feathers in stark contrast, crows in the dark tableau. Judges. Jason took it, y'all. Three to two. Y'all give it up for Angie, though. Angie got a strong high school. I love the best strong high school. Y'all, I got so mad today because I ordered peanuts. I'm almost out of peanuts. I ain't even got enough. I feed the crows at my house. I got a metal shed covered in graffiti, and I throw whole roasted peanuts up on top of it for the crows. And the crows, people always be like, crows are like bringing you things. Like, they ain't bringing me nothing. I don't want them to bring me nothing. It ain't transactional. Don't be so damn human about dealing with the crows. <laughs> but they call me. They land on the top of the house and in the tree out front like 10 in the morning. And they're like, yo, yo, yelling at me because there's no peanuts. 
but I don't got none. And the shipment that I ordered came late and it's delayed and now there ain't no peanuts. And every morning the crows are landing on the house yelling at me because I ain't got no peanuts and I feel bad. And I go out and I'm like, I ain't got no peanuts right now, but I don't know if they know what I'm saying. And then I feel bad because they probably do know what I'm saying and I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Alright, so Jason moved on, and that leaves us. We're going to do best of. How about another best of nine? We'll do a best of nine. Orange side, y'all give it up for Trisha McDaniel. And on the purple side, y'all give it up for Kathy. You got it. In fact, we're going to do a nature boy chat. Because that was a, that was an oh god of apprehension. I like to, I like to make the stage here be comfortable and welcoming to everybody. So we're gonna do a nature boy check, and what a nature boy check is, I'm gonna count to three, and when I'm counting to three, you're gonna breathe in down through your lungs, swirl it around in your chest. If you're feeling tense or loose, either one, down past you like guts, down into your gut intuition. When I'm two, three, and then when I get to three, you go blow it out with a woo like nature boy Ric Flair. So that's the nature boy check. Nature Boy check. One, two, three. Woo! Yeah, that was a nice mellow subdued woo for the night. I like that. Very, a very autumnal woo. <laughs> Trisha, you get to go first. All right. Going to three. No, five. How about four? Split the difference. That's chaos. Uh, whatever. Go. Going to four. If I had the time that I had spent doom scrolling, I'd just doom scroll more. <laughs> Kathy. Marcus the Carcass, rising up for Halloween. Hashtag my front yard. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. <laughs> and that's going to go to Trisha, up one to nothing. You get to go first, Kathy. And wait, who is Marcus the Carcass, though? But what's it look like? Well, it glows. It's on my Instagram. Okay. You have I'm going to go look. back to last Halloween. I'm going to look. I'll scroll. I'm going to. That's, <laughs> that's scroll. hope scroll. I'm going to hope scroll. <laughs> I, hope I, see, I hope I see Marcus the Carcass. Hear ruckus in a tree. Squirrels wake lively. I keep their secrets. Patricia. Hmm. I want a leotard and the self-esteem of a six-year-old gymnast. Judges. <laughs> Kathy took that one. One to one. Unfortunately, the self-esteem of a six-year-old gymnast is usually it's the misdirected. Not reproducible. Of their yes. <laughs> <laughs> one to one. You get to go first, Tricia. Mm. Do I? again. Judges. Kathy took that one up two to one. Trisha, you get to go first, down two to one. Going to four. Plenty of time to come back. As Dolly showed beating me earlier. <laughs> if I'd gone to four, I would have won. No, I had to say five. <laughs> the world says to us, put me on your credit charge. And we don the chain. <laughs> Bats swirl overhead. May they feast on mosquitoes. Birds cheering them on. Yeah, man. Judges. Trisha took that one two to two. I hate a mosquito. <laughs> Kathy, two to two. You get to go first. Golden crown of fall, glimmering overhead. 
Oops, can I start over? I, yeah, yeah. I said the wrong word. Yeah, yeah. everybody ignore what you just <laughs> heard. <laughs> Strike that from the record. Okay. Starting over. <laughs> Kathy, two to two. You get to go first. <laughs> Golden crown of fall, glimmering over the land. Ghosts of the past cry. Patricia. Burroughs probably did way more drugs than all of us here. <laughs> Judges. All right, Kathy took that one up three to two. Now, I tried to do my part. No, oh, that's fine. I told you it's the back I want to say I tried. Yeah, I mean, I, I tried to do my fair share of drugs to equal William Burroughs amongst the crowd. Of <laughs> three to two, Trisha, you get to go first. Ooh. Much too much pressure to keep using same notebook. Reverting to scraps. I've lost all my cups. I need to find my marbles. Gotta buy more cups. <laughs> Judges. And that one goes to Trisha. So three to three. So whoever wins this one is gonna go to the final, y'all. Because there ain't but six of us. So whoever wins this is going to the final. took it, y'all. That was hey. that was a round. That was the most reluctant three judges I ever saw. I've never seen all three judges reluctantly do the same thing. You did. <laughs> Thank you, Tristan. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go through a power round here because I know Jason's going deep into the stack and I want him to be able to have a couple left for the final if he should win. So coming back up on the orange side, y'all give it up for Dolly Joseph. And coming back up on the purple side, y'all give it up for Jason McDaniel. That's the three to get to the final. First one to win two. Dolly, you get to go first. Okay. What? Ready? I don't know. Not really. Kind okay. of working on it. <laughs> I don't know. All right, here we go. For the first time ever, we're going to do a reverse nature boy check. I'm going to count down from three, and then instead of going woo, you're going to go ooh. All right, so reverse <laughs> nature boy check. Three, two, one. Ooh. ooh. All right, good. White people, so mad about invasive plant species. <laughs> there are no good guys, but there's tons of bad guys in religious death cults. Judges. All right, Dolly took that one. And that was a good one. That was like when you hit a pinata and it broke, but it didn't fall yet. Like, it broke and then it all fell. All right, Jason, you're down one to nothing. You're going to two. All right. Oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> America has an unquenchable bloodlust and no fucking heart. One time, Dodo Goat knocked me down. She brought me an apology loop. Judges, Jason took that one, one to one. So whoever wins this will go to the final. Oh, Going to the final. Damn. Dolly. Okay. Sending purple heart emoticon in lieu of actual connection. <laughs> Jason. Got to work early, watching Jay struggle to park. Eighth try should do it. Judges. <laughs> and Dolly took that one, y'all. Two to one. So Dolly goes to the final. Would y'all give it up for Jason? <laughs> Jackie, how many you got left? A lot. How many? 
many you got left? Y'all want to do best of nine? Yeah. Can y'all do that? Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to go on right now. I'm going to put the money on the table. What I got here? What I got? I don't even know what I got. $50 for whoever wins this best of nine. Don't nobody be promising the judges part of the money. <laughs> no haiku slam scandal. And 25 for whoever comes runner up. But really, we're all winners because we all chose to participate. <laughs> Best of five coming back up on the orange side. Y'all give it up for Kathy. And on the purple side, Dolly. <laughs> Nature Boy check. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> Reverse nature boy check. Three, two, one. Woo! Y'all yeah. Yeah. ready? Going to five. You get to go first, Kathy. Eight-legged came to yoga before the dawn. Itsy bitsy spider. Dolly. <laughs> Waterfowl used mystery open red paint for serial killer looks. Judges. Kathy goes up one to nothing. She do got ducks and geese, and they're getting in the red paint somewhere, and it looks like they're bleeding, but they're not. Like, so they got, like, red on their, like, beaks. It's really unsettling sometimes. That's the next A24. Murder geese. Murder geese. And the geese are already murder geese already. Without, well, like, murder goose is dead. Yeah, murder goose got murdered by a coyote. So my, one of my, one of my oh, no. sworn enemies has passed. May he rest in peace, Larry the evil goat goose. Tail is old as that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Canning step seems dumb, and I'm taking mid pre midnight walk in these dark woods. Kathy? Indecisiveness keeps me guessing who I am, which haiku I'll read. I like that. Two to nothing, Kathy is up. Dolly, you're down two to nothing, going to five. Masculine male friend visits while goat pretends to be in heat. Kathy. Man in the candle, what do you see? Sage burning for the broken world. Judges. And that one goes to Kathy as well. Three to nothing. Dolly, you down three to nothing. Monthly ritual of writing on note cards, communing with unlike minds. Kathy? Oh, we got a, we got a, a notebook switch going on midstream here. Ooh, look at the moon. White silver, no longer new, like a sideways smile. Judges. That one goes to Dolly, three to one. Kathy, you get to go first. Storm comes down in sheets, splattering my street and yard. Cacophony reigns. Can you imagine if your name was Manny Lumpkin? <laughs> Can you? <laughs> Judges. <laughs> Took that. I think that was the best reward I could She get. makes some damn good jello salad, though. <laughs> that jello salad hits. So who likes Manny Lumpkin? I don't know, but I, there's Lumpkin I assume they're from Lumpkin's. Oh. I'm not sure. I mean, Manny Lumpkin's, Lumpkin's a pretty bad name. <laughs> I mean, it's a restaurant in Scottsville. It's a random thing to, to wonder. Mm -hmm. Three to two. Motherfucking Manny Lumpkin. Every time somebody peeks in the window, I like to crouch down and peek in the window. <laughs> Three to two, you're up, Kathy. You get to go first. Random haiku is what I like to do when I sit and do nothing. Dolly. Substitute teaching. Trying to build rapport in 90 minutes. Judges. Dolly took that one. Three to three. So we're going to five. We got a tight one. We got a good one, folks. <coughs> Kathy, get to go first. Feather, my dad, the feather finder. 
He loved fossils too. Dolly. Sit up for an hour and write a dozen haiku. Thank you for this practice. Judges. Kathy took that one up four to three. Dolly, you get to go first. Down four to three, going to five. This could be it. This could decide our October Richmond, Virginia Haiku Slam Champion of the Month. Or it could go longer. <laughs> Used to think I had to choose. Now I see I can be all my versions. Kathy. Dusk brings cicadas, birds warbling, and doves coo, motorcycles too. <laughs> Judges. Dolly took that one four to four, so this one's going to decide it, Kathy. You get to go first. <laughs> Ladybug warriors come to defend my garden. Gratitude to you. Dolly. Vet bill today was quarter of a thousand bucks. Gatekeeping flea spray. Judges. And Kathy took it, y'all. Y'all got it? Come on up. Everybody who got a haiku left for this battle roll, come on up. $25 to the one. Yeah. You write these names down. There is a Raven. There is a Trisha. There is, you said your name's James. 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 And there's a Dolly. Anybody else got any left? You might not need, but like two or three max. Three maximum. And I'll even put you lower down, so then you only need two maximum. All right, coming up on the orange side, y'all give it up for Raven. And on the purple side, Dolly. Mm -hmm. Detoxifying my mind, sitting in quiet woods, remaining still. Why do we feel so unsupported? Everyone running on adrenaline. Judges. Hey, a nice little feel-good effort of Raven to beat Dolly, who whooped his ass earlier. <laughs> Orange side, Trisha. Purple side, Angie. No, wait, purple side, Jason. I pulled a switch. Nah. <laughs> no, that's the wrong side. <laughs> Trisha, you get to go first. One haiku. One and done. Rapid battle roll. It's like WWE. Mm. The Royal Rumble. Well, but you gotta wait 15 minutes for the final one. That's right. I already read that one. Judges, feel free to dock points. I'm <laughs> taking. <laughs> <laughs> Management can suck all my dicks. <laughs> Jason. Uh, these diesel truck guys are basically all the same. Insufferable. Judges. And Trisha took it. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Jason, though. Orange side, James, purple side, Angie. James making a haiku slam debut. James, you get to go first. How many syllables is a scream? How many syllables is a ah! <laughs> Angie. <sighs> Witches' spells take flight in the haunted moonlit night. Insta it later. Judges, James moves on. <laughs> Thank you, Angie, though. Yeah. I'm so glad you came and competed again. Orange side, Raven, purple side, Trisha. Let me find a good one while you do all your looking around. <laughs> Gray tabby tossing small dead mouse like a football beneath a green bush. 
Body a mirage. I won't quantify my weight because it don't matter. Judges? Trisha took it. Oh, oh, you stay right there. Okay. Orange side James, purple side Trisha. The final of the battle royal and twenty-five dollars. Imagine that James could have written and read two haiku and win twenty-five dollars. While I was in the audience, <laughs> your poem per dollar ratio will be one of the highest in the state. <laughs> James, you get to go first. All these Pokemon books distracted me while I try to write haiku. Fuck. <laughs> Trisha. Hmm. and mourn, but go forth with love. Judges. James took it, y'all. Hey. James took it. 25 hours, James. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Trisha. Thank y'all for coming out. We're going to do this again next month, November 14th. It is the second Thursday in the month of November, and then I'm shutting down for the winter, and I don't know what's going to happen next year. I'm just going to hibernate and figure out what the next phase is for me as well. I got zines and buttons back there, and also if you're interested in the books I put out, I don't have them on my table because Shelf Life has them for sale on the shelf. You can actually buy my books there as well as, well, I guess I can't say that. I have a 19-year-old non-binary child that has published two three books of poetry that is for sale here, I think, as well, but they might be sold out because they've been out selling me all the time. So, you know, it's all good, man. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for coming out. And there's shows Ooh. down the street. Yes, there's multiple was, shows down the street. At Reveler, uh, at Reveler, there is, um, what's it called? Blue Orpheus Cabaret. The Blue I Orpheus think. Cabaret, which is a kooky, eclectic assortment of people behind this crazy accordion dude. <laughs> And then further up the street at Garden Grove Brewery is a hip-hop show featuring a good friend of Mike's brother, or cousin, and how, what's the, no, what's I the mean, non-binary term for brother? Like Sib? Yeah, Mike Sib and my cousin, dog friend, or dog fuck, and some other folks that are really good too. <laughs> yeah. But Phil is great, so... But both shows are worth checking out. And I can just go to hell home. I don't care. Like, do what you want to do. Like, you spend time with me. That's all that matters. Thank y'all for coming for the first time. Thank you, Silver, for videoing it. Thank you, Shelf Life. Thank you, Raven. Thank you, Cats. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Moon. Thank you, Chair. Uh, yeah. See, if this was a real battle royal, we could have yes, took a chair to somebody. <laughs> I'm glad y'all came. Try to come next month, too, and check it yeah, out. Yeah, my mom is friends with Berkeley.